Hey guys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably remember a few videos back, I showed you how instead of using the inspector panel to zoom and things like that because it will look choppy and rigid, to use adjustment layers instead because you're able to have more control over them. Well, I'm going to show you today an even faster way to do the same thing that you would do with the adjustment layers in the spline editor that's actually in your timeline already. So we have this clip of a gorilla, it's been graded, it's just I come out from behind that big leaf and do a short zoom. That zoom though is done inside of the inspector panel. So it's going to be choppy. Let's give this a watch. Right there, rigid end. It's more apparent at the end of the zoom. You can see it just slams to a halt, right? Boom, done right there. But what we're gonna do is find our clip and then in the bottom right corner of our clip, we see this little line with two dots on it. We're gonna click on that and we'll see the keyframes that we've made for this clip, which is awesome. Now we drag and select over these or you can click them and then control click or shift click more of them. You can move them around manually in here, but the best thing I think you can do aside from the obvious adjustments here are these curves that you can choose to use. So we can say this one and then it will swoop from down to up So it will zoom slower at the beginning and then faster as the zoom progresses or we can use this one Which is kind of a mix of the two slows down at the beginning and the end or we could use this one Where the end is slow, but the beginning remains fast But we are gonna go ahead and do this middle one So we come out of it slowly and get into it slowly So let's watch that back and see if that same jarring stop occurs Nope, just zooms right in, nice and smooth the whole time. So hopefully this improves your edits and speeds up your process. I would love to hear if this helped you in the comments down below, so please let me know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the tips or full tutorials that are coming your way. My name's Garrett Harding, and I'll see you tomorrow.